Now, this next question is from Alan Sancon of Stars Photog, and it is for Miss Angeline Quinto. Hi, Ate Angge. This is for you. So, matagal-tagal ka nang hindi gumawa ng teleserye. Gaano mo na miss gumawa ng teleserye? Hi! Kuya Alan, siya yung nagtanong, di ba? <laughs> Actually, medyo matagal-tagal na rin nga po na um, yung huling ginawa kong teleserye. And si Paolo din yung kasama ko noon. Siguro mga... 2011 ba yun pa, or 2012. Sobrang na-miss ko din at the same time, nung nalaman ko um, from Dreamscape na mapapasama po ako dito sa What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, pareho kami ni Miss Janice eh. Akala ko ako si Secretary Kim. <laughs> Siyempre, tinanggap ko agad yung role. At hindi naman ako masyadong nag-adjust dito sa character ko as si Sara Angeles. Kasi si Sara Angeles, talagang parang si Angeline masayahin, uh, talagang kalog. Siya yung nagbibigay ng kasiyahan sa lahat ng mga katrabaho niya kapag nai-stress sila. So yon sana um, sana po ay uh, abangan niyo dahil napakagandang, uh, napakaganda nitong What's Wrong with Secretary Kim at talagang mapasaya kayo every night. Thank you, Kuya Alan. Thank you. Thank you, Ate Angge. Parang ang lapit nga talaga yung character sa'yo kasi nag-high ka pa lang. Natawa na lahat. Grabe, iba yung effect ng isang Angeline Quinto. So, thank you so much for that. Now, our next question is for Mr. Romnick Sarmenta. This one is from our online viewers. They ask, This is your second project that is a collaboration involving ABS-CBN and VIEW. Prior to What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, you did Unbreak My Heart. How does it feel to be part of another highly anticipated collaboration? I am waiting on their contract. <laughs> De joke lang po. Wala pa rin no, pa. but I am I am truly honored and, and it's always been a pleasure to work with uh, our bosses both from View and, and from Dreamscape and ABS of course. Um It is a great privilege. This is also the first time I'm working with Pao and Kim. And I have enjoyed myself immensely, not only on the set. We have a great captain, si Direk Chad. He's always so fun to work with. And uh, I have a great family there, Sky and Kat. I have Kim and Pao. And I play something that's very close to my heart, being a father. Uh, so it's it's it's... It doesn't feel like work at all. It's just a really great uh, gift. So, so thank you for having me again. Thank you for having us. We've been hearing so much of that. Ah, yung it doesn't feel like work. So mukha talaga ang saya-saya nung set nyo. No? Talaga nag-enjoy ang lahat. Kasi nga po kami ngayon kasi ang lalayo po namin. Eh. Usually kasi itong sofa, kasya na po kami lahat dito. Mamaya bibigyan ko kayo ng chance, Kim, na ano, mag magkumpulan dyan sa sofa. Yes. Thank you so much, Sir Romnick. Now, this next question is for Kim Wonchik. This is from Christian Rebano of What's Up PH. Hello, Kim Wonchik. Your participation in the Filipino adaptation of What's Wrong with Secretary Kim has created a lot of excitement among fans. What aspects of your character's role in the series do you look forward to exploring the most? And how do you plan to bring your own unique flair to the role? Opa, kamsam nida. Heart, heart, heart. Go ahead, Wonshik. Good evening. Ano ang sayo? Good evening, everyone. I'm Kim Wonshik from Korea. Hello. Yes, so he was asking, what aspects of your character's role in the series do you look forward to exploring the most? Like, can you tell us about the traits or the characteristics of your character in the series? Um, my character was like uh, being a rival with him. Like, rival of Paolo's character of BNC? I felt like, I felt like I'm oh. a rival of him because I'm like the boss's son from Korea, Pharma. 
Oh. And I'm the one who like, evaluating him. Yeah, so. Wow, that's exciting, huh? Oh, oh. So that's such a good role, and we're so excited to see you uh, do that role. But the question also, the second part is how will you add your unique flair to the role? Like, how, how will you perform as Kim Wonshik? How is your take on that role like? Are you going to uh, maybe take it like as um, as a very different role from what you really are, like your character in real life? In real life, I'm a really like, positive and active person. Mm -hmm. But in this role, like I'm like strict, intimidated in a way. So I, it was hard for me to act, but it was really good experience for me to you know. Being a role, uh, be, being in that Daniel Park role, yes. Oh, nice. And I think everyone wants to know, can you speak in Filipino, Kim Won Chik? Yes, konti lang po. Konti lang. Yes. Ilang taong ka na? Taga saan ka? Uh, I'm like, uh, ako, I... Uh, Alam ko na, tat saan ka tumira dito? Tatlo labing isa, uh, tatlo labing isa, taon, taon. And nice. Anim taon sa dito nagara sa US tipo. Oh, anim taon na nagaral dito. Ang galing. UST. Yes. Okay. At di ba iba-iba yung tinahan mo dito sa ansa? Davao? Uh, taga sa Davao isang uh, isang taon. Mm -mm. Ateneo de Davao. Yes. So there, that's the background of Kim Wonshik. Abangan po natin siya. So what's wrong with Secretary Kim? Thank you so much, Kam Samida. All right, now our next question is for Pepe Herrera. Okay, Pepe, this is from our online viewers. Okay. Ang tanong nila, maraming natuwa sa pagkakwela ng K-drama counterpart mo played okay. by Kang ki mm, Ako din natuwa rin ako. Diba? Mm. Did you study his quirks? How will you add the Pinoy touch to your humor? Okay. If you're in my position, how would you? <laughs> Una po sa lahat, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Mga ma'am, mga sir. Sa lahat po nang nasa taas. Maraming salamat po sa pagdalo. Pinanood ko, I can't say that I studied, I enjoyed it. Pero katulad ng sinabi nila BMC, nila Sekim, we have to put our own flavor eh. So, mas maganda kung hindi namin gagayahin or hindi namin ipapattern dun sa kanila. Tsaka I guess, I suppose, I trust that they got us because of what we can give. Naturally, also. So I suppose uh, yung flavor namin ay yung personality namin or yung core namin, Nox core. <laughs> yon, yon po yung siguro aabangan ng mga mananood mula sa aming lahat. Yes. At yung character mo talagang may pagka-pepeherera rin na flavor. A slice, a slice of pepe. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pepe. Kinakabahan na ako. Let's move on. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Mr. Pepe Herrera. Now, our next question. Let's go back to Kim Pao. Now, this is from Robert Requintina of Manila Bulletin. So, Kim and Paolo, sometimes we have done unusual things for love. Like on the part of vice chairman in the series. What would you consider the most unusual thing you have done for love? What can you share? Salamat po. Siyempre, babalikan na lang lahat. Pwede, ano, call a friend. Siya na muna sasagot. Si, ano, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah. Ikaw muna. Ano ba? Pinaka-unusual. Hirap naman. Ano ba yung love? Nakalimutan ko na. Papa. Papalala mo ba? Ikaw muna. Pwede namang nung high school kayo. Pinaka-unusual na ginawa niyo for your crush, for your loved one, ganun. Unusual? Mm-mm. Or yung hindi ka makapaniwalang ginawa mo, ganun, for love. Does it have to be 
kahit love for a friend. Sige. Or love for a co-worker. Oh, sure. Uh, siguro, ano, um, ito, itong Secretary Kim. Dahil sa pagmamahal ko bilang bilang katrabaho ka at sa lahat ng binigay mo sa Linlang, so, pambawi sa'yo. So, I'm here in Secretary Kim uh, to Uy, sobrang give back. Funny, sobrang funny to siya give dito. Back. Sobrang funny siya talaga. Hindi na siya si Paolo Abilino. Teka lang, pagmamahal yung pinag-uusapan, ba't mo siya change topic? Siyempre, pinupuri kita. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, hindi namin kinakayan. Kinakayan niyo ba yung sagot ni Paolo? Wait lang. Parang kailangan natin a few moments of silence for that. Wow, okay. So, itong Secretary Kim, dahil nga unusual siya sa... Kung ikukumpara sa mga usual na ginagawa mong projects, Paolo. Ah, oh, okay. I think it, if it was offered to me and it wasn't Kim, uh, I'd probably have second thoughts. Yeah. So because it was Kim, wala nang isip-isip, yes, go agad. Because of Kim and Sir Deus. Oh, thank you. Ang ganda nung sagot niya, Kim! <laughs> Unusual. Yes. Hirap naman. Um, unusual na ginawa. Um, madami. <laughs> Ikaw ba usually yung mara, uh, parang maalaga? Marami ka talagang ginagawa for your loved one? Kaya parang hindi ka makapili kasi ang oh, dami mong... Very, I'm sobrang giving ko talaga na tao. Na parang ayokong, ayokong may nalilift out or may, may na-OOP or something. I always give as long as I can give. Kasi wal, wala naman mawawala sa akin ng, kung, kung magbibigay ako eh. Parang siguro, uh, um, hindi ko alam. So, kasi sagot niya, nalito na tuloy ako. <laughs> Pero ano, um, unusual na bagay. Siguro marami ka naman magagawang unusual kapag nagmahal ka. Parang hindi, mo, hindi na yun unusual sa'yo. Parang normal na sa'yo yun kapag nandun yung love. So... Hanggang doon na lang. Pero totoo yun, sobrang giving nga ni Miss Kim Chu. And I, I'm sure everyone can attest to that, di ba? Na talagang binibigay niya ang more than 100% na kaya niya in everything that she does. And she takes care of everyone around her. So, palakpakan natin ang Kim Pao. <laughs> Kim Chu po for counselor. <laughs> kaya talaga kayo nasa couch. <laughs> Counseling session pala.